Right, so I've just passed Anthony the fold-up bike through the duck hatch, which is great. <laughs> what a gorgeous day. And he's off. Have you set it up? Have you got your car key? Yep. Okay. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah. Got all the way back to my car. And you've got your phone? Yes. Right, so I'm meeting you back at the pub. Yep. See you later. Hello. Drive carefully. Don't, don't drive on this very well, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look at this for a lovely woodland walk for Dexter. <laughs> it's made up. We enjoy the towpath, but sometimes it's nice to get off the towpath just for a change of scenery. And this is a lovely local little woodland that takes you to the centre of Apley Bridge. Well, close to Apley Bridge. hear a knocking noise and there's a woodpecker tapping on a bird box. Well I met Anthony later at the pub we had a quick drink and walked back to the boat and the next day while Anthony was in work I carried on with my latest commission. sure when I'll be able to show you this but this is an A3 image of a horse obviously um, and it's a gift for someone so I'll have to wait till they've received this before I can show it on the vlog but yeah A3 really big I'm really chuffed with this oh look there go our old neighbours from Fettler's Wharf Colin and Sheila what a lovely couple they've been into Wigan to the dry dock and now heading back to Fettler's Get us going for a quick walk. Well, Anthony's taking a boat. <laughs> I'm walking Dexter, just got in from a magic show. And we're meeting friends, Terry and Suzanne, who we've not seen for about a year, over a year. Uh, we're going to the local pub by the swing bridge just for a meal. He's having a shower. <laughs> He could use the bath at home, isn't he? He's not so keen on the shower, then. You're getting crick ready, Dexter. This is medicated shampoo, isn't it? Because he gets sores as well. Yeah. Bless him. Getting crick ready, so you smell nice. <laughs> right, we're off. We've washed the dog. I've had a shower and a shave. We've had a walk. Uh, we've emptied the bins. We've stripped the bed. Uh, we're trying to sort out new bedding for our guests coming. Um, also, Dexter's... Um, I shall show you. He's very curly since he's had his shampoo, bless him. Watch out, Dexter, you're going to push it. Get Dexter, dog, trying to push his dad in the canal. All right, Dexter. Well, you can definitely tell it's coming up to the Jubilee weekend. Call the lovely bunting on the bridge.
the blackbird taking a bath. Afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it's afternoon. I've nearly said good morning then. To be fair though, it's been, been throwing it down, hasn't it? So we've been like putting it off. But we want to try and make a bit of headway today. So, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to go to the lock here and fill up with water where you would have seen us fill up on the way through. Yeah, gathers. Yep. Um, then we're going to carry on and we're going to try and get to Pennington Flash today. We're not going to make it today, possibly. We can get to the outskirts, but the bridge is timed on the main road. I right, but after six o'clock, we oh, yeah. yeah. we're going to try and get to Pennington Flash today. We're going to stop off at Gathurst, uh, like Paul said. We're going to fill up with water um, and then we're going to carry on to Pennington. We're going to have to wait though because the because of the traffic the um swing bridge is closed four till six we think so yeah it's um, time for at least an hour and a half yeah it? so we're not going to be able to get through before six i wouldn't have thought but then one of us needs to go back for the car don't we when you say one of us what do you mean me <laughs> you like keeping fit anthony yeah. i'll sit on board and eat cake and yeah. drink coffee <laughs> i've noticed <laughs> Oh, so the other day, we're on the boat, and Anthony just finished in the shower, and he said, can you do me a favour, can you stand on that side of the boat? And I'm like, why? No, just do it. <laughs> so, a bit of balance. It's, it's so the water had drained through. The... I wasn't being rude, to be fair, it's because you're tall. Oh yeah, it made me feel really useful. Yeah. Just stand over there, so stand that the water drained out of the shower. <laughs> Have another cake, and <laughs> let me get this water to drain oh. down. <laughs> well, this is Bridge 44. And if you'd have watched our video from about 15 months ago, you would have seen us on our helmsman trading when a tractor was coming down across this bridge. Yeah, it's very rarely used, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and we've never seen it used since, no. or before then. But we've, uh, we had a really nice meal last night with our friends Terry and Suzanne. And at the boat house. The boat house. We can never remember the name of it, at Ashley Bridge. Yeah, I can remember the name. Yeah, well done. Um, the food was really nice, actually. In fact, it was just too much to eat it. Yeah, we were hoping for dessert, but definitely not really dessert. Yeah. That, uh, that tells you how big the portions were. Finding didn't have dessert. Staff were really nice as well, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Lovely. Oh, Kingfisher. Oh wow. <laughs> we're still we're still chuffed to see a Kingfisher, aren't we? Still yeah, there's just something magical about them. I think yeah. it's like the colours are stunning. Well, yeah, there's not many birds that are iridescent like that. I guess and not like country, so vibrant. Anyway. Uh, so. Yeah, we should turn the camera around, let you enjoy the view. We're really excited about Crick. Yeah. When you watch this, we would have been to Crick, but we're just, uh, we're a couple of weeks behind, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so our friends are looking after the boats, which is why we want to get to um, Boothstown, really, isn't it? Because there's, yeah. there's a bit more there, the, the networks of um, motorways and stuff are, are better. Uh, and there's more for them to do around there than yeah. um, Gathers, which is a bit, a bit more rural. They could even go into Manchester for a drink, couldn't they? they yeah, to. so we, yeah, they're not that far, they probably get the tram, to yeah. be honest. Although, so. they're at that age now where they don't go clubbing, they're staying at home, doing the garden, building a fence, doing planting, yeah. all the things we did, sort of, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, getting mature, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And for any of our British viewers, I was going to recommend a series called Big Boys, but be careful who you watch it with. <laughs> it was really heartwarming drama, wasn't it? Yeah, but it's like... Um, but I'd say it's definitely adult oriented. It, yeah, it's definitely adult, adult um, audience. Yeah. Um, and it's based around two guys who go to uni, so you can sort of imagine the type of yeah, who form content. A very, yeah, the, they're very unlikely to form a friendship, but they do become really good friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so we can't believe it. Like Anthony said, we've been doing jobs on the boat actually while it's been raining. So Dexter needed shampooing, ready for Crick, so he smells nice hopefully. And also it's um, it's good for him. He gets yeah, sores. Yeah, it's doesn't he? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it soothes his sores, bless him. He seemed to enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, who's out? We have got quite a few jobs to do this year actually, haven't we? So yeah. um, the matte black on the boat, the black is looking a bit tired and yeah. I know that's what it's supposed to be there for. It's not due to come out the boat, out the water till probably next year anyway. Um, but we won't touch all that up and make it look new better. again, really, because yeah. the, the actual metallic paintwork looks brand new. Yeah. Um, there's some bits inside the boat, so we need to put magnets on the cupboards um, that I bought about a month ago. Um, so we need to get that sorted. Yeah. Anyway, we've waited on long enough. Sure. Let's turn the camera around. Thanks for watching the vlog. If you're new to the channel, I'm Paul, this is Anthony, yep. and our dog Dexter, and we live on a, a big staff narrowboat called Morning Star, which is 57 feet long. Um, we've installed a lithium battery recently, but now I'm wittering on, so I'll turn the camera around. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is reflecting on the leaves, mm. the um the light. 
We love this stretch of the canal, don't we? I think it's just for you to walk along here all the time. Beautiful. And we can still smell bluebells. I don't think there is any smell nicer on planet Earth. But I haven't seen bells. Like since we saw them coming through, mm. I thought they'd all died off, but I can still smell them. The road you can see ahead is actually the very busy M6 motorway. We used to drive over this all the time, looking down onto the canal, wishing that we were down there on a boat. We only moored here for about 20 minutes so we could fill our tank with water. Well, we're just filling with water and then we've got this lock to go through before we get to Gathurst. And like Anthony said earlier, we're going to get as far as we can today towards Lee and hopefully to Pennington Flash by this evening. And uh, that will break up our journey for tomorrow because we've got to get from Pennington Flash to Booth Town. And although there are no locks, it's quite a distance. I remember it took us quite a few hours last time we did that. And hopefully we can fill up with fuel at the fuel boat that's at Lee, just by the cinema on the canal. Shame we've not got time to go to the cinema because we'd love to watch the new Top Gun film. <sighs> anyway, I love this section of canal. I keep saying it. Right, we thought we'd give these caramel lattes a go. Ignore the noise of the engine. We've got the washing machine on. Oh well, they look nice and they smell amazing. Do you like a treat, lad? You've been a good boy. Have you had a bath this morning? Have you had a bath? <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Can't get addicted to these. Look at the size of a house. While the boat filled with water, Anthony went ahead and set the lock for me. Right, well we're filled with water, Anthony's just untying us. I'm going to take the boat into the lock. Right here. Start the engine. To the button. <laughs> Benjamin Oh. Yeah, that's it, eh? To all between the boats. Oh, after it. Which after the second After the second one. Shade. I don't know. Matt, I'll let you you could shade it. I'll let you um well we're not saying it, I'll listen to the
After mooring up, Anthony cycled back the one mile to Abley Bridge and then brought his car back to Gathurst. I don't know what's up with this research. It's tiny old time. Yeah, like asleep. I still think, after nearly two years on the boat, when we stop in a place, it takes you a little while to settle in. Yeah, and then well, we're you're not sure again. about the surroundings are you whether mm. it's safe and I don't kiss even that because even when we're back at places we've been to like Parbold, Blackbridge uh, sorry Ackley Bridge Crook Hall in we're just passing oh we've been in there haven't we yeah oh, you're right at bridge 47 so we had a meal in there um with Ted yeah um, when we helped Ted and Judith Andy Andy that's yeah. right on his wide beam he was on his way to Scaresbrick, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, we helped him down the Wigan flight. Yeah. yeah. It was a long day, but an enjoyable day. It was winter time. Uh, but yeah, it was so nice to get in. Uh, did they have a real fire in the Crook Hall? I think Ooh. they may have done. It looks like it should have, yeah. so I'm going to say yeah. Yeah. If you know the Crook Hall in, and there's no fire, let us know. I'm willing to install one. These remind me of those ponchos from the country and western films. <laughs> I don't remember any country and western film having such camp ponchos, to be fair. <laughs> well, not bright colours. What westerns did you watch? A sou'wester, that was it, wasn't it? Is that a hat or is that a coat? A sou'wester. Huh? Yeah. I think it's a, I think it's like a poncho on a yeah. ship. But it might be a hat. No, I thought the no, I think it is. I think it's like a green. No, 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 it's shipping southwesters. Was it? Yeah, it's for rain. Oh. Right, I'll turn the camera around for passing these uh, old working boats. We passed these a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Yeah. When we had Peter and Andy on board. So you've just been back for your car, haven't you? Yep. On the bike, and it didn't take long, did it? No, five, ten minutes at the most. Yeah. And you weren't out of breath at all, were you? No, but to be fair, it's, it's only, I, I can't run, I, I, I keep trying and I just get really out of breath really quickly. Is it because you've got a little leg? It's because I've got asthma. <laughs> oh, yeah, it made me feel bad. <laughs> How bad do you feel now? You always try me. <laughs> just because you think it's funny. Oh, oh that's weird. Isn't it? I can't believe how quiet it is along this stretch. In fact, we've not been this way past Crook heading towards Wigan since March 2020, the end of March, oh sorry, 2021, Yeah. and uh, even though it was only the end of March, it was a sunny day, people were lighting bonfires on the allotments, people had music playing on the boats, and it felt like a change wasn't coming, <laughs> it did, didn't it? especially for us. Right, so the plan is to get through Wigan, there's three locks, I think, two or three locks at the bottom of Wigan by the water point, and then we turn right towards Pennington Flash and Lee, and I think there are two or three locks at Poolstock, it's a while since I've done them, but yeah, we know Poolstock really yeah. well, and then uh, we're going to get to Pennington Flash, are you going back to the car from Pennington Flash? It's a bit far, isn't it, to get first? Well, it's a damn sight further to, than like, when we get to Booth, so. Yeah. We'll see, we'll let you know. Yeah.
time. Wait. Come on, then. Come on. Ready? Ready. Oh. Ready? Come on, then. I think this is too high, bless him. Come on, we'll sort you. Take that off. You ready? Oh. Thanks, George. Bless you, Dexter. <laughs> Some good filming there, Dexter. Because doing four miles an hour. Doing four miles an hour. Ooh, there's a speed camera and we're doing about four miles an hour. It's not a speed camera. It's to monitor the traffic on the canal though. Oh, Anthony's selective hearing is amazing. I, it was pointed then and I thought I said, I thought you'd seen some chicks. And he went, chips? Like you're going to see some chips? <laughs> you know you do. I just said the road sign, so I thought you'd talk about the rubbish. <laughs> now I thought it was a bag of chips. I'm getting worried about our old age. I'm glad it's not, because you'd have been fishing it out and having uh, You can definitely tell we're getting to an industrial area. And that, that guy who does the blacking for the crane. I don't know. Well, didn't Peter tell us that's what he does? He does like blackening stuff. Got his own crate. Yeah, that's right. And a compressor or something. I think that's the only downside with the bike, is the wheels are too thin, I think, to pull the tow path. Yeah. Up. And that's what makes it feel look so small, isn't it? So this is where they used to tip the coal up into the barges. So the large building you can see on your right with a small tower, that's Trencherfield Mill. Stunning building. And Pier 3, I think, is where the nightclub used to be. It's a long time since that was open. Are they playing Yes Sir, I Can Boogie? They're probably playing Yes Sir, I Can Boogie. <laughs> our friend Jude. I don't think it was that long ago, actually. <laughs> So we know now that this is a, a tight bend round to the right. The first time we came along here, we thought, do we go straight on? Do we turn right? Because we're not organised. Something to do being organised. We've never done it before. You won't know, would you? Yeah, look at the map. <laughs> Are you going to pull up after this boat to see if there's um, rubbish facilities? Yeah, I'm not it? sure if there is. I think it's the top flight, isn't it? I can't remember. Well, there was some at the top. Do you remember when we stopped near after the flight before the other locks yeah so i think you might have to go through a couple of locks first i don't remember it being here
We witnessed these three young men under the bridge taking drugs and although I didn't feel threatened, it wasn't very pleasant to witness. We were certainly glad to get through this lock. We moored up here because one of the rope swags needed repairing but we also thought it was a good time to get a drink, something to eat and also feed Dexter. Well join us again next week when we head through Poolstock and down onto the Bridgewater Canal. Thanks for watching, have a great week.